So again, hello and welcome. This video is if you are making a shell car and you are working on hollowing out the shell of that car. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use a chisel, which is this tool right here. We have them in a couple different widths and they are located in the tool cabinet in the corner of our lab. When you're using a chisel to hollow out the center of your car, the first rule of the chisel is that all of your fingers on both hands need to stay behind the blade. This is the blade of the chisel. And again, you do not want your hand or your fingers in front of it because you always wanna be thinking about, hey, what's the worst thing that could happen if I mess up right now? And in this case, as I'm pushing forward, worst thing that could happen is I cut myself. And these do get pretty sharp. So again, always have your hands behind the blade. Now, what you're gonna to wanna to do is have your dominant hand on the handle. That's gonna be your pushing hand. Your non-dominant hand you can use to help guide the chisel, again, fingers behind the cutting surface. Our chisel can be used in two ways. You can either use it with the flat side down and push along the surface of your wood to help carve out, you can see it's creating that nice little wood curl, and chunk out some of the material. Now this, if you have it at a steeper angle, is going to be harder to control, but at a nice shallow angle is gonna start to get rid of some of that excess material. You can flake it off, you can peel it off, and then you can go ahead and continue to get some more. You can also turn it so that the flat side is facing up to do this method. You might notice that it'll go a little bit faster, but again, keeping all of your fingers behind that cutting surface, using your dominant hand to push, your non-dominant hand to guide. I'm currently cutting through balsa for reference. It does take a little bit of force, but it's not super extraneous in order to create that. Now with this, you do wanna be careful, especially if you have a very thin front up here, as you notice that forward force, if you have a thin front could take it off. Now, as we look at the inner surface of my shell, when I am creating this outline right here, what I'm gonna do is actually flip it so that the flat side of my chisel is against the material I'd like to keep. That way I can kind of create that outline just by using force and pressing down into my balsa wood. You can also use a mallet to help with this. And then after creating that outline, you can return to cutting your wood using that method that we just looked at. So again, using your dominant hand to push, your non-dominant hand to help control. Now, if you have already used the drill press to help chunk out, you might find those holes are going to create a little bit of trouble for you since you're no longer working with a nice flat surface. If that is the case, try your best to work around them. You'll notice as I get into those holes, I start to chunk away more material. Use them to your advantage. Those holes, again, we use them to help get rid of some initial material. Those holes, if you just take it slow and take your time, can be a great advantage. If at any point when you are using the chisel, you are unsure of how to use it correctly, or you are afraid that you are going to hurt yourself, please come ask me for help. Usually, as long as, again, you follow that cardinal rule of both hands behind the blade, you will be totally fine. Now this will take a fairly significant amount of time. I've been doing this for the length of this video, which is about three minutes and 20 seconds at this point. And if we look at the progress I've made, it's a little. So if you are using a chisel to hollow out the shell of your car, I recommend getting in it for the long haul and practicing a lot of patience. Also, do not forget to grab a caliper and check the depth frequently so that you can see that you are not going too deep into your car.